Bangladesh listen Bengali Bangladesh Bangladesh Balad listen lit the country of Bengal officially the people's republic of Bangladesh Ganaprajatantri Bangladesh Ganaprajatantri Bangladesh is a country in South Asia it shares land borders with India and Myanmar Burma the country's maritime territory in the bay of Bengal is roughly equal to the size of its land area Bangladesh is the world's eighth most populous country Dhaka is its capital and largest city, followed by Chittagong, which has the country's largest port. Bangladesh forms the largest and easternmost part of the Bengal region. Bangladeshis include people from a range of ethnic groups and religions. Bengalis, who speak the official Bengali language, make up 98% of the population. The politically dominant Bengali Muslims make the nation the world's third largest Muslim majority country. Islam is the official religion of Bangladesh. Most of Bangladesh is covered by the Bengal Delta, the largest delta on earth. The country has 700 rivers and 8046 kilometers, 5000 miles of inland waterways. Highlands with evergreen forests are found in the northeastern and southeastern regions of the country. Bangladesh has many islands and a coral reef. The longest unbroken sea beach of the world, Cox's Bazar Beach, is located in the southeast. It is home to the Sundarbans, the largest mangrove forest in the world. The country's biodiversity includes a vast array of plant and wildlife, including endangered Bengal tigers, the national animal. The Greeks and Romans identified the region as Gangaradai, a powerful kingdom of the historical Indian subcontinent, in the 3rd century BCE. Archaeological research has unearthed several ancient cities in Bangladesh, which enjoyed international trade links for millennia. The Bengal Sultanate and Mughal Bengal transformed the region into a cosmopolitan Islamic imperial power between the 14th and 18th centuries. The region was home to many principalities that made use of their inland naval prowess. It was also a notable centre of the global muslin and silk trade. As part of British India, the region was influenced by the Bengali Renaissance and played an important role in anti-colonial movements. The partition of British India made East Bengal a part of the Dominion of Pakistan, and renamed it as East Pakistan. The region witnessed the Bengali language movement in 1952 and the Bangladesh Liberation War in 1971. After independence was achieved, a parliamentary republic was established. A presidential government was in place between 1975 and 1990, followed by a return to parliamentary democracy. The country continues to face challenges in the areas of poverty, education, healthcare and corruption. Bangladesh is a middle power and a developing nation. Listed as one of the next 11, its economy ranks 43rd in terms of nominal gross domestic product and 29th in terms of purchasing power parity. It is one of the largest textile exporters in the world. Its major trading partners are the European Union, the United States, China, India, Japan, Malaysia and Singapore. With its strategically vital location between South, East and Southeast Asia, Bangladesh is an important promoter of regional connectivity and cooperation. It is a founding member of SAARC, BIMSTEC, the Bangladesh-China-India-Myanmar Forum for Regional Cooperation and the Bangladesh-Bhutan-India-Nepal Initiative. It is also a member of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Commonwealth of Nations, the Developing Eight Countries, the OIC, the Indian Ocean Rim Association, the Non-Aligned Movement, the Group of 77 and the World Trade Organization. Bangladesh is one of the largest contributors to United Nations peacekeeping forces. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The etymology of Bangladesh country of Bengal can be traced to the early 20th century, when Bengali patriotic songs, such as Namo 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 Bangladesh Momo by Kazi Nasrul Islam and Aaji Bangladesh Ridoy by Rabindranath Tagore, used the term. The term Bangladesh was often written as two words, Bangladesh, in the past. Starting in the 1950s, Bengali nationalists used the term in political rallies in East Pakistan. The term Bangla is a major name for both the Bengal region and the Bengali language. The earliest known usage of the term is the Nasari plate in 805 AD. The term Vangaladisa is found in 11th century South Indian records. The term gained official status during the Sultanate of Bengal in the 14th century. Shamsuddin Ilyas Shah proclaimed himself as the first Shah of Bangala in 1342. 
The word Bangla became the most common name for the region during the Islamic period. The Portuguese referred to the region as Bengala in the 16th century. The origins of the term Bangla are unclear, with theories pointing to a Bronze Age proto Dravidian tribe, the Austric word Banga, Sun God, and the Iron Age Vanga kingdom. The Indo Aryan suffix desh is derived from the Sanskrit word desha, which means land or country. Hence, the name Bangladesh means land of Bengal or country of Bengal. Topic History. Topic Early and Medieval Periods. Stone Age tools found in Bangladesh indicate human habitation for over 20,000 years, and remnants of Copper Age settlements date back 4,000 years. Ancient Bengal was settled by Austroasiatics, Tibeto-Burmans, Dravidians, and Indo-Aryans in consecutive waves of migration. Archaeological evidence confirms that by the 2nd millennium BCE, rice cultivating communities inhabited the region. By the 11th century people lived in systemically aligned housing, buried their dead, and manufactured copper ornaments and black and red pottery. The Ganges, Brahmaputra and Migna rivers were natural arteries for communication and transportation, and estuaries on the Bay of Bengal permitted maritime trade. The early Iron Age saw the development of metal weaponry, coinage, agriculture and irrigation. Major urban settlements formed during the late Iron Age, in the mid-first millennium BCE, when the northern black polished ware culture developed. In 1879, Alexander Cunningham identified Mahasthangar as the capital of the Pundra kingdom mentioned in the Rigveda. Greek and Roman records of the ancient Gongaridae kingdom, which according to legend, deterred the invasion of Alexander the Great, are linked to the fort city in Wari Bateshwar. The site is also identified with the prosperous trading center of Suanagora listed on Ptolemy world map. Roman geographers noted a large seaport in southeastern Bengal, corresponding to the present-day Chittagong region. Ancient Buddhist and Hindu states which ruled Bangladesh included the Vanga, Samatata and Pundra kingdoms, the Maurya and Gupta empires, the Varman dynasty, Shashanka's kingdom, the Kadga and Kandra dynasties, the Pala empire, the Sena dynasty, the Harakila kingdom and the Deva dynasty. These states had well-developed currencies, banking, shipping, architecture and art, and the ancient universities of Bikrampur and Mainamati hosted scholars and students from other parts of Asia. Zanzong of China was a noted scholar who resided at the Samapura Mahavihara the largest monastery in ancient India, and Atisa travelled from Bengal to Tibet to preach Buddhism. The earliest form of the Bengali language began to the emerge during the 8th century. Early Muslim explorers and missionaries arrived in Bengal late in the first millennium CE. The Islamic conquest of Bengal began with the 1204 invasion by Bakhtiar Khilji. After annexing Bengal to the Delhi Sultanate, Khilji waged a military campaign in Tibet. Bengal was ruled by the Delhi Sultanate for a century by governors from the Mamluk, Balban, and Tughluq dynasties. During the 14th century, an independent Bengal Sultanate was established by rebel governors. The Sultanate's ruling houses included the Ilyas Shahi, Jalaluddin Muhammad Shah, Hussein Shahi, Suri and Karani dynasties, and the era saw the introduction of a distinct mosque architecture and the Tanka currency. The Arakan region was brought under Bengali hegemony. The Bengal Sultanate was visited by explorers Ibn Battuta, Admiral Jung He and Niccolo de Conti. During the late 16th century, the Baro Buyan, a confederation of Muslim and Hindu aristocrats, ruled eastern Bengal. Its leader was the Mansad e Allah, a title held by Isa Khan and his son Musa Khan. The Khan dynasty are considered local heroes for resisting North Indian invasions with their river navies. The Mughal Empire controlled Bengal by the 17th century. During the reign of Emperor Akbar, the Bengali agrarian calendar was reformed to facilitate tax collection. The Mughals established Dhaka as a fort city and commercial metropolis, and it was the capital of Mughal Bengal for 75 years. In 1666, the Mughals expelled the Arakanese from Chittagong. Mughal Bengal attracted foreign traders for its muslin and silk goods, and the Armenians were a notable merchant community. A Portuguese settlement in Chittagong flourished in the southeast, and a Dutch settlement in Rajshahi existed in the north. During the 18th century, the Nawabs of Bengal became the region's de facto rulers. 
The Nawabs forged alliances with European colonial companies, which made the region relatively prosperous early in the century. The Bengali Muslim population was a product of conversion and religious evolution, and their pre-Islamic beliefs included elements of Buddhism and Hinduism. The construction of mosques, Islamic academies madrasas, and Sufi monasteries kankas, facilitated conversion, and Islamic cosmology played a significant role in developing Bengali Muslim society. Scholars have theorized that Bengalis were attracted to Islam by its egalitarian social order, which contrasted with the Hindu caste system. By the 15th century, Muslim poets were writing in the Bengali language. Notable medieval Bengali Muslim poets included Daulat Qazi, Abdul Hakim and Alaul. Syncretic cults, such as the Baal movement, emerged on the fringes of Bengali Muslim society. The Persianate culture was significant in Bengal, where cities like Sonargon became the easternmost centers of Persian influence. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Colonial Period. After the 1757 Battle of Plassey, Bengal was the first region of the Indian subcontinent conquered by the British East India Company. The company formed the presidency of Fort William, which administered the region until 1858. A notable aspect of company rule was the permanent settlement, which established the feudal zamindari system. A number of famines, including the Great Bengal Famine of 1770, occurred under company rule. Several rebellions broke out during the early 19th century including one led by Taitumir, but British rule displaced the Muslim ruling class. A conservative Islamic cleric, Haji Shariatullah, sought to overthrow the British by propagating Islamic revivalism. Several towns in Bangladesh participated in the Indian mutiny and pledged allegiance to the last Mughal emperor, Bahadur Shah Zafar, who was later exiled to neighbouring Burma. The challenge posed to company rule by the failed Indian mutiny led to the creation of the British Indian Empire as a crown colony, and the first railway was built in 1862. Syed Ahmed Khan and Ram Mohan Roy promoted modern and liberal education on the subcontinent, inspiring the Aligarh movement and the Bengal Renaissance. During the late 19th century, novelists, social reformers and feminists emerged from Muslim Bengali society. Electricity and municipal water systems were introduced in the 1890s, cinemas opened in many towns during the early 20th century. East Bengal's plantation economy was important to the British Empire, particularly its jute and tea. The British established tax-free river ports, such as the port of Narayanganj, and large seaports like the port of Chittagong. Social tensions also increased under British rule, particularly between wealthy Hindus and the Muslim-majority population. The permanent settlement made millions of Muslim peasants tenants of Hindu estates, and resentment of the Hindu landed gentry grew. Supported by the Muslim aristocracy, the British government created the province of Eastern Bengal and Assam in 1905. The new province received increased investment in education, transport, and industry. However, the first partition of Bengal created an uproar in Calcutta and the Indian National Congress. In response to growing Hindu nationalism, the All India Muslim League was formed in Dhaka during the 1906 All India Mohammedan Educational Conference. The British government reorganised the provinces in 1912, reuniting East and West Bengal and making Assam a second province. The Raj was slow to allow self-rule in the colonial subcontinent. It established the Bengal Legislative Council in 1862, and the council's native Bengali representation increased during the early 20th century. The Bengal Provincial Muslim League was formed in 1913 to advocate civil rights for Bengali Muslims within a constitutional framework. During the 1920s, the League was divided into factions supporting the Khilafat movement and favouring cooperation with the British to achieve self-rule. Segments of the Bengali elite supported Mustafa Kemal Atatürk's secularist forces. In 1929, the All Bengal Tenants Association was formed in the Bengal Legislative Council to counter the influence of the Hindu landed gentry, and the Indian independence and Pakistan movements strengthened during the early 20th century. After the Morley Minto reforms and the Diarchy era in the legislatures of British India, the British government promised limited provincial autonomy in 1935. The Bengal Legislative Assembly, British India's largest legislature, was established in 1937. Although it won a majority of seats in 1937, the Bengal Congress boycotted the legislature. 
A. K. Fazlul Huq of the Krishak Praja Party was elected as the first Prime Minister of Bengal. In 1940 Huq supported the Lahore Resolution, which envisaged independent states in the northwestern and eastern Muslim-majority regions of the subcontinent. The first Huq ministry, a coalition with the Bengal Provincial Muslim League, lasted until 1941, it was followed by a Huq coalition with the Hindu Mahasabha which lasted until 1943. Huck was succeeded by Kawaja Nazimuddin, who grappled with the effects of the Burma campaign, the Bengal famine of 1943 and the Quit India movement. In 1946, the Bengal Provincial Muslim League won the provincial election, taking 113 of the 250-seat assembly the largest Muslim League mandate in British India. H. S. Surawardi, who made a final feudal effort for a united Bengal in 1946, was the last Premier of Bengal. Union with Pakistan On 3 June 1947 Mountbatten Plan outlined the partition of British India. On 20 June, the Bengal Legislative Assembly met to decide on the partition of Bengal. At the preliminary joint meeting, it was decided 120 votes to 90 that if the province remained united it should join the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan. At a separate meeting of legislators from West Bengal, it was decided 58 votes to 21 that the province should be partitioned and West Bengal should join the Constituent Assembly of India. At another meeting of legislators from East Bengal, it was decided 106 votes to 35 that the province should not be partitioned and 107 votes to 34 that East Bengal should join the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan if Bengal was partitioned. On 6 July, the Silhet region of Assam voted in a referendum to join East Bengal. Cyril Radcliffe was tasked with drawing the borders of Pakistan and India, and the Radcliffe Line established the borders of present-day Bangladesh. The Dominion of Pakistan was created on 14 August 1947. East Bengal, with Dhaka its capital, was the most populous province of the 1947 Pakistani Federation led by Governor General Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who promised freedom of religion and secular democracy in the new state. East Bengal was also Pakistan's most cosmopolitan province, home to peoples of different faiths, cultures and ethnic groups. Partition gave increased economic opportunity to East Bengalis, producing an urban population during the 1950s. Kawaja Nazimuddin was East Bengal's first chief minister, with Frederick Chalmers born its governor. The All Pakistan Awami Muslim League was formed in 1949 as a centre left alternative to the centre right All Pakistan Muslim League. In 1950, the East Bengal Legislative Assembly enacted land reform, abolishing the permanent settlement and the zamindari system. The 1952 Bengali language movement was the first sign of friction between the country's geographically separated wings. The Awami Muslim League was renamed the more secular Awami League in 1953. The first constituent assembly was dissolved in 1954, this was challenged by its East Bengali speaker, Malvi Tamizuddin Khan. The United Front Coalition swept aside the Muslim League in a landslide victory in the 1954 East Bengali legislative election. The following year, East Bengal was renamed East Pakistan as part of the One Unit Program and the province became a vital part of the Southeast Asia Treaty Organization. Pakistan adopted its first constitution in 1956. Three Bengalis were its prime minister until 1957, Nazimuddin, Muhammad Ali of Bogra and Surawardi. None of the three completed their terms, and resigned from office. The Pakistan Army imposed military rule in 1958, and Ayub Khan was the country's strongman for 11 years. Political repression increased after the coup. Khan introduced a new constitution in 1962, replacing Pakistan's parliamentary system with a presidential and gubernatorial system based on electoral college selection known as basic democracy. In 1962 Dhaka became the seat of the National Assembly of Pakistan, a move seen as appeasing increased Bengali nationalism. The Pakistani government built the controversial Koptai Dam, displacing the Chakma people from their indigenous homeland in the Chittagong Hill tracts. During the 1965 presidential election, Fatima Jinnah lost to Ayub Khan despite support from the Combined Opposition Alliance which included the Awami League. The Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 blocked cross-border transport links with neighbouring India in what is described as a second partition. 
In 1966, Awami League leader Sheikh Mujibur Rahman announced a six point movement for a federal parliamentary democracy. According to senior World Bank officials, Pakistan practiced extensive economic discrimination against East Pakistan, greater government spending on West Pakistan, financial transfers from East to West Pakistan, the use of East Pakistan's foreign exchange surpluses to finance West Pakistani imports, and refusal by the central government to release funds allocated to East Pakistan because previous spending had been under budget. East Pakistan generated 70% of Pakistan's export revenue with its jute and tea. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested for treason in the Agartala conspiracy case, and was released during the 1969 uprising in East Pakistan which resulted in Ayub Khan's resignation. General Yahya Khan assumed power, reintroducing martial law. Ethnic and linguistic discrimination was common in Pakistan's civil and military services, in which Bengalis were under-represented. 15% of Pakistani central government offices were occupied by East Pakistanis, who formed 10% of the military. Cultural discrimination also prevailed, making East Pakistan forge a distinct political identity. Pakistan banned Bengali literature and music in state media, including the works of Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. A cyclone devastated the coast of East Pakistan in 1970, killing an estimated 500,000 people, and the central government was criticized for its poor response. After the December 1970 elections, calls for the independence of East Bengal became louder. The Bengali nationalist Awami League won 167 of 169 East Pakistani seats in the National Assembly. The League claimed the right to form a government and develop a new constitution, but was strongly opposed by the Pakistani military and the Pakistan People's Party led by Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. <laughs> War of Independence The Bengali population was angered when Prime Minister-elect Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was prevented from taking the office. Civil disobedience erupted across East Pakistan, with calls for independence. Mujib addressed a pro-independence rally of nearly two million people in Dhaka on 7 March 1971, where he said, This time the struggle is for our freedom. This time the struggle is for our independence. The flag of Bangladesh was raised for the first time on 23 March, Pakistan's Republic Day. During the night of 25 March, the Pakistani military junta led by Yahya Khan launched Operation Searchlight a sustained military assault on East Pakistan. Pakistan Army arrested Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and flew him away to Karachi. Mujib however, before his arrest proclaimed the independence of Bangladesh on 26 March midnight which led the Bangladesh Liberation War to officially break out within hours. The Pakistan army continued to massacre Bengali students, intellectuals, politicians, civil servants and military defectors in the 1971 Bangladesh genocide, while the Mukti Bahini and other Bengali guerrilla forces created strong resistance throughout the country. During the war, an estimated 300,000 to 3 million people were killed and several million people took shelter in neighboring India. Global public opinion turned against Pakistan as news of the atrocities spread. The Bangladesh movement was supported by prominent political and cultural figures in the West, including Ted Kennedy, George Harrison, Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, Victoria Ocampo, and Andre Malru. The concert for Bangladesh was held at Madison Square Garden in New York City to raise funds for Bangladeshi refugees. The first major benefit concert in history, it was organized by Harrison and Indian Bengali sitarist Ravi Shankar. During the Bangladesh Liberation War, Bengali nationalists declared independence and formed the Mukti Bahini, the Bangladeshi National Liberation Army. The Provisional Government of Bangladesh was established on 17 April 1971, converting the 469 elected members of the Pakistani National Assembly and East Pakistani Provincial Assembly into the Constituent Assembly of Bangladesh. The provisional government issued the proclamation of the independence of Bangladeshi, which was the country's interim constitution and declared, "...equality, human dignity and social justice," as its fundamental principles. Due to Mujib's detention, the acting president was Syed Nasrul Islam, while Tajuddin Ahmad was Bangladesh's first prime minister. The military wing of the provisional government was the Bangladesh forces that included Mukti Bahini and other Bengali guerrilla forces. 
Led by General Mag Osmani and eleven sector commanders, the forces strongly held the countryside during the war and conducted wide-ranging guerrilla operations against Pakistani forces. As a result, almost entire country except capital Dhaka was liberated by Bangladesh forces by late November. This led Pakistan Army to attack neighbouring India's Western Front on 2 December. India retaliated both in Western and Eastern Fronts. By joint Bangladeshi ground advance and Indian air strike, the rest capital Dhaka was liberated from Pakistani occupation in mid-December. During the last phase of the war, the Soviet Union and the United States dispatched naval forces to the Bay of Bengal in a Cold War standoff. The nine months long war ended with the surrender of Pakistani armed forces to the Bangladesh India Allied Forces on 16 December 1971. Under international pressure, Pakistan released Rahman from imprisonment on 8 January 1972 and he was flown by the British Royal Air Force of to a million strong homecoming in Dhaka. Remaining Indian troops were withdrawn by 12 March 1972, three months after the war ended. The cause of Bangladeshi self determination was recognised around the world. By August 1972, the new state was recognised by 86 countries. Pakistan recognised Bangladesh in 1974 after pressure from most of the Muslim countries. <laughs> People's Republic of Bangladesh First parliamentary era The Constituent Assembly adopted Bangladesh's constitution on 4 November 1972, establishing a secular, multi-party parliamentary democracy. The new constitution included references to socialism, and Prime Minister Sheikh Mujibur Rahman nationalized major industries in 1972. A major reconstruction and rehabilitation program was launched. The Awami League won the country's first general election in 1973, securing a large majority in the Jaishio Sangshad. Bangladesh joined the Commonwealth of Nations, the UN, the OIC and the Non-Aligned Movement, and Rahman strengthened ties with India. Amid growing agitation by the opposition National Awami Party and National Socialist Party, he became increasingly authoritarian. Rahman amended the constitution, giving himself more emergency powers including the suspension of fundamental rights. The Bangladesh famine of 1974 also worsened the political situation. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Presidential era and coups 1975 to 1991. In January 1975, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman introduced one-party socialist rule under BAKSAL. Rahman banned all newspapers except four state-owned publications, and amended the constitution to increase his power. He was assassinated during a coup on 15 August 1975. Martial law was declared, and the presidency passed to the usurper Kondakar Mustaq Ahmad for four months. Ahmad is widely regarded as a quisling by Bangladeshis. Tajuddin Ahmad, the nation's first prime minister, and four other independence leaders were assassinated on 4 November 1975. Chief Justice Abu Sadat Muhammad Sayyam was installed as president by the military on 6 November 1975. Bangladesh was governed by a military junta led by the chief martial law administrator for three years. In 1977, Army Chief Zayor Rahman became president. Rahman reinstated multi-party politics, privatized industries and newspapers, established BEPZA and held the country's second general election in 1979. A semi-presidential system evolved, with the Bangladesh Nationalist Party BNP governing until 1982. Rahman was assassinated in 1981, and was succeeded by Vice President Abdus Sattar. Sitar received 65.5% of the vote in the 1981 presidential election. After a year in office, Sitar was overthrown in the 1982 Bangladesh coup d'etat. Chief Justice AFM Asanuddin Chowdhury was installed as president, but Army Chief Hussain Muhammad Ershad became the country's de facto leader and assumed the presidency in 1983. Ershad lifted martial law in 1986. He governed with four successive prime ministers Ator Rahman Khan, Mazanur Rahman Chowdhury, Maudid Ahmed and Qazi Zafar Ahmed and a parliament dominated by his Jaishio party. General elections were held in 1986 and 1988, although the latter was boycotted by the opposition BNP and Awami League. 
Urshad pursued administrative decentralization, dividing the country into 64 districts, and pushed parliament to make Islam the state religion in 1988. A 1990 mass uprising forced him to resign, and Chief Justice Shahabuddin Ahmed led the country's first caretaker government as part of the transition to parliamentary rule. Topic: <laughs> Current parliamentary era 1991 present. After the 1991 general election, the Twelfth Amendment to the Constitution restored the Parliamentary Republic and Begum Khalida Zia became Bangladesh's first female Prime Minister. Zia, a former First Lady, led a BNP government from 1990 to 1996. In 1991 her finance minister, Safer Rahman, began a major program to liberalize the Bangladeshi economy. After an Awami League initiative, the BNP introduced a system of caretaker governments to oversee the transfer of power. Justice Muhammad Habibur Rahman was the first chief advisor of Bangladesh, and oversaw the 1996 election. The Awami League, led by Sheikh Hasina, won the seventh general election. Hasina's first term was highlighted by the Chittagong Hill Tracts Peace Accord and a Ganges Water Sharing Treaty with India. The second caretaker government, led by Chief Advisor Justice Latifur Rahman, oversaw the eighth general election in 2001 which returned Begum Zia and the BNP to power. The second Zia ministry saw improved economic growth, but political turmoil gripped the country between 2004 and 2006. A radical Islamist militant group, the JMB, carried out a series of bombings. The evidence of staging these attacks by these extremist groups have been found in the investigation, and hundreds of suspected members were detained in numerous security operations in 2006, including the two chiefs of the JMB, Sheikh Abdur Rahman and Bangla Bai, who were executed with other top leaders in March 2007, bringing the militant group to an end. Amid widespread political unrest, the Bangladeshi military urged President Iyajuddin Ahmed to impose a state of emergency and a caretaker government, led by technocrat Fakhruddin Ahmed. Ahmed, was installed. Emergency rule lasted for two years, until the ninth general election in 2008 which returned Sheikh Hasina and the Awami League to power. In 2010, the Supreme Court ruled martial law illegal and affirmed secular principles in the constitution. The following year, the Awami League abolished the caretaker government system. The 2014 general election was boycotted by the BNP, giving the Awami League a decisive victory. Topic. Geography The geography of Bangladesh is divided between three regions. Most of the country is dominated by the fertile Ganges Brahmaputra Delta, the northwest and central parts of the country are formed by the Madhapur and the Barren Plateaus. The northeast and southeast are home to evergreen hill ranges. The Ganges Delta is formed by the confluence of the Ganges local name Padma or Pada, Brahmaputra Jamuna or Jomuna, and Migna rivers and their respective tributaries. The Ganges unites with the Jamuna main channel of the Brahmaputra and later joins the Migna, finally flowing into the Bay of Bengal. Bangladesh has 57 trans boundary rivers, making the resolution of water issues politically complicated. In most cases, as the country is a lower riparian state to India, Bangladesh is predominantly rich fertile flat land. Most parts of it is less than 12 meters (39.4 feet) above sea level, and it is estimated that about 10% of its land would be flooded if the sea level were to rise by 1 meter (3.28 feet). 17% of the country is covered by forests, and 12% is covered by hill systems. The country's hoar wetlands are of significance to global environmental science. In southeastern Bangladesh, experiments have been done since the 1960s to build with nature. Construction of cross dams has induced a natural accretion of silt, creating new land. With Dutch funding, the Bangladeshi government began promoting the development of this new land in the late 1970s. The effort has become a multi-agency endeavor, building roads, culverts, embankments, cyclone shelters, toilets and ponds, as well as distributing land to settlers. It was expected that by fall 2010, the program would have allotted some 27,000 acres 10,927 hectares to 21,000 families. With an elevation of 1,064 meters 3,491 feet, the highest peak of Bangladesh is Kyokradong, near the border with Myanmar. Topic. Administrative geography 
Bangladesh is divided into eight administrative divisions, each named after their respective divisional headquarters Barizal, Chittagong, Dhaka, Kulna, Maimansingh, Rajshahi, Rangpur, and Silhet. Divisions are subdivided into districts. Zilla. There are 64 districts in Bangladesh, each further subdivided into Upazila subdistricts or Tana. The area within each police station, except for those in metropolitan areas, is divided into several unions, with each union consisting of multiple villages. In the metropolitan areas, police stations are divided into wards, which are further divided into mahalas. There are no elected officials at the divisional or district levels, and the administration is composed only of government officials. Direct elections are held in each union or ward for a chairperson and a number of members. In 1997, a parliamentary act was passed to reserve three seats out of 12 in every union for female candidates. Topic. Climate Straddling the Tropic of Cancer, Bangladesh's climate is tropical with a mild winter from October to March, and a hot, humid summer from March to June. The country has never recorded an air temperature below 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit, with a record low of 1.1 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in the northwest city of Dinajpur on 3 February 1905. A warm and humid monsoon season lasts from June to October and supplies most of the country's rainfall. Natural calamities, such as floods, tropical cyclones, tornadoes, and tidal bores occur almost every year, combined with the effects of deforestation, soil degradation and erosion. The cyclones of 1970 and 1991 were particularly devastating, the latter killing some 140,000 people. In September 1998, Bangladesh saw the most severe flooding in modern world history. As the Brahmaputra, the Ganges and Migna spilt over and swallowed 300,000 houses, 9,700 kilometers, 6,000 miles of road and 2,700 kilometers, 1,700 miles of embankment. 1,000 people were killed and 30 million more were made homeless. 135,000 cattle were killed. 50 square kilometers, 19 square miles of land were destroyed and 11,000 kilometers, 6,800 miles of roads were damaged or destroyed. Effectively, two-thirds of the country was underwater. The severity of the flooding was attributed to unusually high monsoon rains, the shedding off of equally unusually large amounts of melt water from the Himalayas, and the widespread cutting down of trees that would have intercepted rain water for firewood or animal husbandry. Bangladesh is now widely recognized to be one of the countries most vulnerable to climate change. Natural hazards that come from increased rainfall, rising sea levels, and tropical cyclones are expected to increase as climate changes, each seriously affecting agriculture, water and food security, human health and shelter. It is estimated that by 2050, a three-feet rise in sea levels will inundate some 20% of the land and displace more than 30 million people. There is evidence that earthquakes pose a threat to the country and that plate tectonics have caused rivers to shift course suddenly and dramatically. It has been shown that rainy season flooding in Bangladesh, on the world's largest river delta, can push the underlying crust down by as much as 6 cm, and possibly perturb faults. Bangladeshi water is frequently contaminated with arsenic because of the high arsenic content of the soil. Up to 77 million people are exposed to toxic arsenic from drinking water. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biodiversity. Bangladesh ratified the Rio Convention on Biological Diversity on 3 May 1994. As of 2014, the country was set to revise its National Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan. Bangladesh is located in the Indomalaya ecozone. Its ecology includes a long sea coastline, numerous rivers and tributaries, lakes, wetlands, evergreen forests, semi-evergreen forests, hill forests, moist deciduous forests, freshwater swamp forests, and flat land with tall grass. The Bangladesh plain is famous for its fertile alluvial soil which supports extensive cultivation. The country is dominated by lush vegetation, with villages often buried in groves of mango, jackfruit, bamboo, betel nut, coconut and date palm. The country has up to 6,000 species of plant life, including 5,000 flowering plants. Water bodies and wetland systems provide a habitat for many aquatic plants. Water lilies and lotuses grow vividly during the monsoon season. The country has 50 wildlife sanctuaries. 
Bangladesh is home to much of the Sundarbans, the world's largest mangrove forest, covering an area of 6,000 square kilometres in the southwest littoral region. It is divided into three protected sanctuaries the south, east and west zones. The forest is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The northeastern Silhet region is home to Hoare Wetlands, which is a unique ecosystem. It also includes tropical and subtropical coniferous forests, a freshwater swamp forest and mixed deciduous forests. The southeastern Chittagong region covers evergreen and semi-evergreen hilly jungles. Central Bangladesh includes the Plainland Sal Forest running along the districts of Ghazipur, Tangail and Mymansingh. St. Martin's Island is the only coral reef in the country. Bangladesh has an abundance of wildlife in its forests, marshes, woodlands and hills. The vast majority of animals dwell within a habitat of 150,000 square kilometers. The Bengal tiger, clouded leopard, saltwater crocodile, black panther and fishing cat are among the chief predators in the Sundarbans. Northern and eastern Bangladesh is home to the Asian elephant, hulak gibbon, Asian black bear and oriental pied hornbill. The chital deer are widely seen in southwestern woodlands. Other animals include the black giant squirrel, capped langur, Bengal fox, sambar deer, jungle cat, king cobra, wild boar, mongooses, pangolins, pythons and water monitors. Bangladesh has one of the largest population of Irrawaddy dolphins and Ganges dolphins. A 2009 census found 6,000 Irrawaddy dolphins inhabiting the littoral rivers of Bangladesh. The country has numerous species of amphibians 53, reptiles 139, marine reptiles 19, and marine mammals 5. It also has 628 species of birds. Several animals became extinct in Bangladesh during the last century, including the one horned and two horned rhinoceros and common peafowl. The human population is concentrated in urban areas, hence, limiting deforestation to a certain extent. Rapid urban growth has threatened natural habitats. Although many areas are protected under law, a large portion of Bangladeshi wildlife is threatened by this growth. The Bangladesh Environment Conservation Act was enacted in 1995. The government has designated several regions as ecologically critical areas, including wetlands, forests and rivers. The Sundarbans Tiger Project and the Bangladesh Bear Project are among the key initiatives to strengthen conservation. Politics The Constitution of Bangladesh established a unitary, Westminster-style parliamentary republic with universal suffrage. A member of parliament supported by a parliamentary majority usually the chair of the largest party is the prime minister, the head of government and of the cabinet. Bangladesh is governed by a 350-member parliament, known as the Jaishayo Sangshad. 300 of its members are elected on a first-past-the-post basis, and 50 seats are reserved for female nominees by political parties. Although parliamentary elections are scheduled every five years, they have often been delayed by political crises, emergency rule or martial law. The President of Bangladesh is the head of state. From 1975 to 1990 the presidency had executive powers, but it has been reduced to a largely ceremonial role by the Twelfth Amendment to the Constitution. Since 1991, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party BNP, and the Bangladesh Awami League, have been the two major political parties in Bangladesh and have engaged in bitter rivalries and skirmishes. In 2011, the 15th Amendment mandated the highest punishment for usurpers. The amendment was controversial for abolishing the caretaker government system, which had been a neutral administration during election periods since the 1990s. The 2014 national election was boycotted by the largest opposition party, which argued that a free election could not be held without a neutral interim government. The Jaishayo Sangshad is restrained from holding no confidence motions, floor crossing and free votes by Article 70 of the Constitution. Human rights violations have increased due to the growing power of security forces particularly the Rapid Action Battalion, which is accused of arbitrary arrests, summary executions, and forced disappearances. Topic. Legal system Bangladesh's legal system is based on common law, and its principal source of laws are Acts of Parliament. The Bangladesh Code includes a list of all laws in force in the country. 
The code begins in 1836, and most of its listed laws were crafted under the British Raj by the Bengal Legislative Council, the Bengal Legislative Assembly, the Eastern Bengal and Assam Legislative Council, the Imperial Legislative Council and the Parliament of the United Kingdom. One example is the 1860 Penal Code. From 1947 to 1971, laws were enacted by Pakistan's National Assembly and the East Pakistani Legislature. The Constituent Assembly of Bangladesh was the country's provisional parliament until 1973, when the first elected Jaishayo Sangshad was sworn in. Although most of Bangladesh's laws were compiled in English, after a 1987 government directive laws are now primarily written in Bengali. Marriage, divorce and inheritance are governed by Islamic, Hindu and Christian family law. The judiciary is often influenced by legal developments in the Commonwealth of Nations, such as the doctrine of legitimate expectation. The Supreme Court of Bangladesh, including its High Court and Appellate Divisions, is the High Court of the land. The head of the judiciary is the Chief Justice of Bangladesh, who sits on the Supreme Court. The courts have wide latitude in judicial review, and judicial precedent is supported by the Article 111 of the Constitution. The judiciary includes district and metropolitan courts, which are divided into civil and criminal courts. Due to a shortage of judges, the judiciary has a large backlog. The Bangladesh Judicial Service Commission is an independent body responsible for judicial appointments, salaries and discipline. Military The Bangladesh Armed Forces have inherited the institutional framework of the British military and the British Indian Army. It was formed in 1971 from the military regiments of East Pakistan. In 2012 the army strength was around 300,000, including reservists, the Air Force and the Navy in addition to traditional defense roles, the military has supported civil authorities in disaster relief and provided internal security during periods of political unrest. For many years, Bangladesh has been the world's largest contributor to UN peacekeeping forces. In February 2015, the country made major deployments to Côte d'Ivoire, Cyprus, Darfur, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Golan Heights, Haiti, Lebanon, Liberia and South Sudan. The Bangladesh Navy has the third largest fleet after India and Thailand of countries dependent on the Bay of Bengal, including guided missile frigates, submarines, cutters and aircraft. The Bangladesh Air Force is equipped with several Russian multi-role fighter jets. Bangladesh cooperates defensively with the United States Armed Forces, participating in the Cooperation of Float Readiness and Training exercises. Ties between the Bangladeshi and the Indian military have increased, with high-level visits by the military chiefs of both countries. 80% of Bangladesh's military equipment comes from China. <laughs> Foreign relations The first major intergovernmental organization joined by Bangladesh was the Commonwealth of Nations in 1972. The country joined the United Nations in 1974, and has been elected twice to the UN Security Council. Ambassador Humayun Rashid Choudhury was elected President of the UN General Assembly in 1986. Bangladesh relies on multilateral diplomacy in the World Trade Organization. It is a major contributor to UN peacekeeping, providing 113,000 personnel to 54 UN missions in the Middle East, the Balkans, Africa and the Caribbean in 2014. In addition to membership in the Commonwealth and the United Nations, Bangladesh pioneered regional cooperation in South Asia. Bangladesh is a founding member of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation (SAARC), an organization designed to strengthen relations and promote economic and cultural growth among its members. It has hosted several summits, and two Bangladeshi diplomats were the organization's secretary general. Bangladesh joined the Organization of Islamic Cooperation in 1973. It has hosted the summit of OIC foreign ministers, which addresses issues, conflicts and disputes affecting Muslim-majority countries. Bangladesh is a founding member of the developing eight countries, a bloc of eight Muslim-majority republics. Japan is Bangladesh's largest economic aid provider, and the countries have common political goals. The United Kingdom has long-standing economic, cultural and military links with Bangladesh. 
The United States is a major economic and security partner, including its largest export market and foreign investor. 76% of Bangladeshis viewed the United States favorably in 2014, one of the highest ratings among Asian countries. The European Union is Bangladesh's largest regional market, conducting public diplomacy and providing development assistance. Relations with other countries are generally positive. Shared democratic values ease relations with Western countries, and similar economic concerns forge ties to other developing countries. Despite poor working conditions and war affecting overseas Bangladeshi workers, relations with Middle Eastern countries are friendly and bounded by religion and culture. More than a million Bangladeshis are employed in the region. In 2016, the King of Saudi Arabia called Bangladesh, one of the most important Muslim countries. Bangladesh's most politically important bilateral relationship is with neighboring India. In 2015, major Indian newspapers called Bangladesh a trusted friend. Bangladesh and India are South Asia's largest trading partners. The countries are forging regional economic and infrastructure projects, such as a regional motor vehicle agreement in eastern South Asia and a coastal shipping agreement in the Bay of Bengal. Indo-Bangladesh relations have a shared cultural heritage and democratic values and a history of support for Bangladeshi independence. Despite political goodwill, border killings of Bangladeshi civilians and the lack of a comprehensive water-sharing agreement for 54 trans-boundary rivers are major issues. In 2017, India joined Russia and China in refusing to condemn Myanmar's atrocities against the Rohingya, which contradicted with Bangladesh's demand for recognizing Rohingya human rights. However, the Indian Air Force delivered aid shipments for Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh. The rise of Hindu extremism and Islamophobia in India has also affected Bangladesh. The Bangladeshi beef and leather industries have seen increased prices due to the Indian BJP government's Hindu nationalist campaign against the export of beef and cattle skin. Sino Bangladesh relations date to the 1950s and are relatively warm, despite the Chinese leadership siding with Pakistan during Bangladesh's War of Independence. China and Bangladesh established bilateral relations in 1976 which have significantly strengthened, and the country is considered a cost-effective source of arms for the Bangladeshi military. Since the 1980s 80% 80 of Bangladesh's military equipment has been supplied by China often with generous credit terms, and China is Bangladesh's largest trading partner. Both countries are part of the BCIM Forum. The neighboring country of Myanmar was one of first countries to recognize Bangladesh. Despite common regional interests, Bangladesh-Myanmar relations have been strained by the Rohingya refugee issue and the isolationist policies of the Myanmar military. In 2012, the countries came to terms at the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea over maritime disputes in the Bay of Bengal. In 2016 and 2017, relations with Myanmar again strained as over 400,000 Rohingya refugees entered Bangladesh after atrocities. The parliament, government and civil society of Bangladesh have been at the forefront of international criticism against Myanmar for military operations against the Rohingya, which the United Nations has described as ethnic cleansing. Pakistan and Bangladesh have a $550 million trade relationship, particularly in Pakistani cotton imports for the Bangladeshi textile industry. Although Bangladeshi and Pakistani businesses have invested in each other, diplomatic relations are strained because of Pakistani denial of the 1971 Bangladesh genocide. Bangladeshi aid agencies work in many developing countries. An example is BRAC in Afghanistan, which benefits 12 million people in that country. Bangladesh has a record of nuclear nonproliferation as a party to the Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty and the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty It is a state party to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. Bangladeshi foreign policy is influenced by the principle of friendship to all and malice to none, first articulated by Bengali statesman H. S. Surawardi in 1957. Surawardi led East and West Pakistan to join the Southeast Asia Treaty Organization, CENTO and the Regional Cooperation for Development. <laughs> Human rights Rights in Bangladesh are enshrined in the country's constitution. However, government and security forces have flouted constitutional principles and have been accused of human rights abuses. Bangladesh is ranked partly free. 
In Freedom House's Freedom in the World report, but its press is ranked, not free. According to the British Economist Intelligence Unit, the country has a hybrid regime, the third of four rankings in its democracy index. Bangladesh was the third most peaceful South Asian country in the 2015 Global Peace Index. Civil society and media in Bangladesh have been attacked by the ruling Awami League government and Islamic extremists. According to National Human Rights Commission Chairman Mazanur Rahman, 70% of alleged human rights violations are committed by law enforcement agencies. Targets have included Nobel Peace Prize winner Muhammad Yunus and the Grameen Bank, secularist bloggers and independent and pro-opposition newspapers and television networks. The United Nations is concerned about government measures that restrict freedom of expression and democratic space. Bangladeshi security forces, particularly the Rapid Action Battalion (RAB), have received international condemnation for human rights abuses, including enforced disappearances, torture, and extrajudicial killings. Over 1,000 people have been said to have been victims of extrajudicial killings by RAB since its inception under the last Bangladesh Nationalist Party government. The RAB has been called a death squad by Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International, which have called for the force to be disbanded. The British and American governments have been criticized for funding and engaging the force in counter terrorism operations. The Bangladeshi government has not fully implemented the Chittagong Hill Tracts Peace Accord. The Hill Tracts region remains heavily militarized, despite a peace treaty with indigenous people forged by the United People's Party of the Chittagong Hill Tracts. Secularism is protected by the Constitution of Bangladesh, and religious parties are barred from contesting elections. However, the government is accused of courting religious extremist groups. Islam's ambiguous position as the de facto state religion has been criticized by the United Nations. Despite relative harmony, religious minorities have faced occasional persecution. The Hindu and Buddhist communities have experienced religious violence from Islamic groups, notably the Bangladesh Jamaat-e-Islami and its student wing Shabir. Islamic far-right candidates peaked at 12% of the vote in 2001, falling to 4% in 2008. Homosexuality is outlawed by Section 377 of the Criminal Code, and is punishable by a maximum of life imprisonment. According to the 2016 Global Slavery Index, an estimated 1,531,300 people are enslaved in modern day Bangladesh, or 0.95% of the population. A number of slaves in Bangladesh are forced to work in the fish and shrimp industries. Topic corruption Bangladesh was 14th on Transparency International's 2014 Corruption Perceptions Index. In 2015, bribes made up 3.7% of the national budget. The country's anti-corruption commission was active during the 2006-08 Bangladeshi political crisis, indicting many leading politicians, bureaucrats and businessmen for graft. After it assumed power in 2009, the Awami League government reduced the commission's independent power to investigate and prosecute. Land administration was the sector with the most bribery in 2015, followed by education, police and water supply. Topic economy Bangladesh, a developing country with a market-based mixed economy, is one of the next 11 emerging markets. Its per capita income was $1,754 in 2018, with a GDP of $285 billion. Bangladesh has the third largest South Asian economy after India and Pakistan and the second highest foreign exchange reserves after India. The Bangladeshi diaspora contributed $15.31 billion in remittances in 2015. During its first five years of independence Bangladesh adopted socialist policies, an Awami League blunder. The subsequent military regime and BNP and Jatia Party governments restored free markets and promoted the country's private sector. In 1991, Finance Minister Safer Rahman introduced a program of economic liberalization. The Bangladeshi private sector has rapidly expanded, with a number of conglomerates driving the economy. Major industries include textiles, pharmaceuticals, shipbuilding, steel, electronics, energy, construction materials, chemicals, ceramics, food processing and leather goods. Export-oriented industrialization has increased, with fiscal year 2014-15 exports increasing by 3.3% over the previous year to $30 billion, although Bangladesh's trade deficit ballooned by over 45% in this same time period. 
Most export earnings are from the garment manufacturing industry. Bangladesh also has social enterprises, including the Nobel Peace Prize winning Grameen Bank and BRAC, the world's largest non governmental organization. However, an insufficient power supply is a significant obstacle to Bangladesh's economic development. According to the World Bank, poor governance, corruption, and weak public institutions are also major challenges. In April 2010, Standard & Poor's gave Bangladesh a BB long-term credit rating, below India's but above those of Pakistan and Sri Lanka. The country is notable for its soil fertility land, including the Ganges Delta, Silhet Division and the Chittagong Hill Tracts. Agriculture is the largest sector of the economy, making up 18.6% of Bangladesh's GDP in November 2010 and employing about 45% of the workforce. The agricultural sector impacts employment generation, poverty alleviation, human resources development and food security. More Bangladeshis earn their living from agriculture than from any other sector. The country is among the top producers of rice 4th, potatoes 7th, tropical fruits 6th, jute 2nd, and farmed fish 5th. Bangladesh is the seventh largest natural gas producer in Asia, ahead of neighboring Myanmar, and 56% of the country's electricity is generated by natural gas. Major gas fields are located in the northeastern particularly Silhet and southern including Barisal and Chittagong regions. Petrobangla is the national energy company. The American multinational corporation Chevron produces 50% of Bangladesh's natural gas. According to geologists, the Bay of Bengal contains large, untapped gas reserves in Bangladesh's exclusive economic zone. Bangladesh has substantial coal reserves, with several coal mines operating in the northwest. Jute exports remain significant, although the global jute trade has shrunk considerably since its World War II peak. Bangladesh has one of the world's oldest tea industries, and is a major exporter of fish and seafood. Bangladesh's textile and ready-made garment industries are the country's largest manufacturing sector, with 2014 exports of $25 billion. Leather goods manufacturing, particularly footwear, is the second largest export sector. The pharmaceutical industry meets 97% of domestic demand, and exports to many countries. Shipbuilding has grown rapidly, with exports to Europe, steel is concentrated in the port city of Chittagong, and the ceramics industry is prominent in international trade. In 2005 Bangladesh was the world's 20th largest cement producer, an industry dependent on limestone imports from northeast India. Food processing is a major sector, with local brands such as Prawn increasing their international market share. The electronics industry is growing rapidly, particularly the Walton Group. Bangladesh's defense industry includes the Bangladesh Ordnance Factories and the Kulna Shipyard. The service sector accounts for 51% of the country's GDP. Bangladesh ranks with Pakistan as South Asia's second largest banking sector. The Dhaka and Chittagong stock exchanges are the country's twin financial markets. Bangladesh's telecommunications industry is one of the world's fastest growing, with 114 million cell phone subscribers in December 2013, and Graminephone, Banglalink, Rabi and BTTB are major companies. Tourism is developing, with the beach resort of Cox's Bazaar the center of the industry. The Silhet region, home to Bangladesh's tea country, also hosts a large number of visitors. The country has three UNESCO World Heritage Sites the Mosque City, the Buddhist Vihara and the Sundarbans and five tentative list sites. Microfinance was pioneered in Bangladesh by Muhammad Yunus. In 2015, the country had over 35 million microcredit borrowers. Topic. Transport Transport is a major sector of the economy. Aviation has grown rapidly, and includes the flag carrier Biman Bangladesh Airlines and other privately owned airlines. Bangladesh has a number of airports, three international and several domestic and stole short takeoff and landing airports. The busiest, Shahjalal International Airport connects Dhaka with major destinations. Bangladesh has a 2,706-kilometre rail network operated by state-owned Bangladesh Railway. The total length of the country's road and highway network is nearly 21,000 km 13,000 mile. It has one of the largest inland waterway networks in the world, with 8,046 km 5,000 miles of navigable waters. 
The southeastern port of Chittagong is its busiest seaport, handling over $60 billion in annual trade more than 80% of the country's export-import commerce. The second busiest seaport is Mangla. Bangladesh has three seaports and 22 river ports. Topic. Energy and infrastructure Bangladesh had an installed electrical capacity of 10,289 MW in January 2014. About 56% of the country's commercial energy is generated by natural gas, followed by oil, hydropower and coal. Bangladesh has planned to import hydropower from Bhutan and Nepal. Nuclear energy is being developed with Russian support in the Ruper nuclear power plant project. The country ranks fifth worldwide in the number of renewable energy green jobs, and solar panels are increasingly used to power urban and off-grid rural areas. An estimated 98% of the country's population had access to improved water sources in 2004, a high percentage for a low-income country, achieved largely through the construction of hand pumps with support from external donors. However, in 1993 it was discovered that much of Bangladesh's groundwater the source of drinking water for 97% of the rural population and a significant share of the urban population is naturally contaminated with arsenic. Another challenge is low-cost recovery due to low tariffs and poor economic efficiency, especially in urban areas where water revenue does not cover operating costs. An estimated 56% of the population had access to adequate sanitation facilities in 2010. Community-led total sanitation, addressing the problem of open defecation in rural areas, is credited with improving public health since its introduction in 2000. Topic. Science and technology The Bangladesh Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, founded in 1973, traces its roots to the East Pakistan Regional Laboratories established in Dhaka 1955, Rajshahi 1965, and Chittagong 1967. Bangladesh's space agency, SPARRSO, was founded in 1983 with assistance from the United States. Bangladesh launched Bangabandhu-1 the first Bangladeshi communications satellite in 2018. The Bangladesh Atomic Energy Commission operates a Triga research reactor at its atomic energy facility in Savah. In 2015, Bangladesh was ranked the 26th global IT outsourcing destination. Topic: Tourism. Bangladesh's tourist attractions include historical and monuments, resorts, beaches, picnic spots, forests and tribal people, wildlife of various species. Activities for tourists include angling, water skiing, river cruising, hiking, rowing, yachting, and sea bathing. The World Travel and Tourism Council (WTTC) reported in 2013 that the travel and tourism industry in Bangladesh directly generated 1,281,500 jobs in 2012 or 1.8% 1 of the country's total employment, which ranked Bangladesh 157 out of 178 countries worldwide. Direct and indirect employment in the industry totaled 2,714,500 jobs, or 3.7% of the country's total employment. The WTTC predicted that by 2023, travel and tourism will directly generate 1,785,000 jobs and support an overall total of 3,891,000 jobs, or 4.2% of the country's total employment. This would represent an annual growth rate in direct jobs of 2.9%. Domestic spending generated 97.7% of direct travel and tourism gross domestic product GDP in 2012. Bangladesh's world ranking in 2012 for travel and tourism's direct contribution to GDP, as a percentage of GDP, was 142 out of 176. Demographics Estimates of the Bangladeshi population vary, but UN data suggests 162,951,560 million. The 2011 census estimated 142.3 million, much less than 2007–2010 estimates of Bangladesh's population 150–170 million. Bangladesh is the world's eighth most populous nation. 
In 1951, its population was 44 million. Bangladesh is the most densely populated large country in the world, ranking 11th in population density when small countries and city states are included. The country's population growth rate was among the highest in the world in the 1960s and 1970s, when its population grew from 65 to 110 million. With the promotion of birth control in the 1980s, Bangladesh's growth rate began to slow. Its total fertility rate is now 2.55, lower than India's 2.58 and Pakistan's 3.07. The population is relatively young, with 34% aged 15 or younger and 5% 65 or older. Life expectancy at birth was estimated at 70 years in 2012. Despite the rapid economic growth, 43% of the country still lives below the international poverty line on less than $1.25 per day. Bengalis are 98% of the population. Of Bengalis, Muslims are the majority, followed by Hindus, Christians, and Buddhists. The Adivasi population includes the Chakma, Marma, Tanchanya, Tripuri, Kuki, Kang, Kumi, Marang, Mru, Chak, Lushe, Bam, Vishnupriya Manipuri, Kasi, Jainsha, Garo, Santal, Munda, and Oran tribes. The Chittagong Hill Tracts region experienced unrest and an insurgency from 1975 to 1997 in an autonomy movement by its indigenous people. Although a peace accord was signed in 1997, the region remains militarized. Bangladesh is home to a significant Ismaili community. It hosts many Urdu speaking immigrants, who migrated there after the partition of India. Stranded Pakistanis were given citizenship by the Supreme Court in 2008. An estimated over 670,000 Rohingya refugees from Myanmar live in refugee camps in Cox's Bazar district in the southeast. The region has received influxes of Rohingya refugees during Burmese military crackdowns in 1978, 1991, 2012 and 2016. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Urban Centers. Dhaka is Bangladesh's capital and largest city. There are 12 city corporations which hold mayoral elections, Dhaka South, Dhaka North, Chittagong, Komila, Kulna, Mymansingh, Silhet, Rajshahi, Barizal, Rangpur, Ghazapur and Narayanganj. Mayors are elected for five-year terms. Altogether there are 506 urban centres in Bangladesh among which 43 cities have a population of more than 100,000. Languages. <laughs> <laughs> More than 98% of people in Bangladesh speak Bengali, sometimes called Bangla, as their native language. Dialects of Bengali are spoken in some parts of the country, which include non-standard dialects sometimes viewed as separate languages such as Chatgaya, Silati and Rangpuri. Pakistani Biharis, stranded since 1971 and living in Bangladeshi camps, speak Urdu. Rohingya refugees from Myanmar, living in Bangladeshi camps since 1978, speak Rohingya. Several indigenous minority languages are also spoken. Bengali is the official language. However, English is sometimes used secondarily for official purposes, especially in the legal system. Although laws were historically written in English, they were not translated into Bengali until 1987. Bangladesh's constitution and laws now exist in English and Bengali. English is used as a second language by the middle and upper classes, and is widely used in higher education. Topic. Religion Islam is the largest and the official state religion of Bangladesh, followed by 86.6% of the population. The country is home to most Bengali Muslims, the second largest ethnic group in the Muslim world. Most Bangladeshi Muslims are Sunni, followed by Shia and Ahmadiyya. About 4% are non-denominational Muslims. Bangladesh has the fourth largest Muslim population in the world, and is the third largest Muslim majority country after Indonesia and Pakistan. Sufism has a lengthy heritage in the region. The largest gathering of Muslims in Bangladesh is the Bishwa Ij Tima, held annually by the Tablighi Jamaat. The Ij Tima is the second largest Muslim congregation in the world, after the Hajj. Hinduism is followed by 12.1% of the population, most are Bengali Hindus, and some are members of ethnic minority groups. 
Bangladeshi Hindus are the country's second largest religious group and the third largest Hindu community in the world, after those in India and Nepal. Hindus in Bangladesh are fairly evenly distributed, with concentrations in Gopalganj, Dinajpur, Silhet, Sunamganj, Maimansingh, Kulna, Jessore, Chittagong and parts of the Chittagong Hill tracts. Despite their dwindling numbers, Hindus are the second largest religious community after the Muslims in Dhaka. Buddhism is the third largest religion, at 0.6%. Bangladeshi Buddhists are concentrated among ethnic groups in the Chittagong Hill tracts particularly the Chakma, Marma and Tanchanya peoples, and coastal Chittagong is home to a large number of Bengali Buddhists. Christianity is the fourth largest religion, at 0.4%. The constitution of Bangladesh declares Islam the state religion, but bans religion-based politics. It proclaims equal recognition of Hindus, Buddhists, Christians and people of all faiths. In 1972, Bangladesh was South Asia's first constitutionally secular country. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. Bangladesh has a low literacy rate, which was estimated at 66.5% for males and 63.1% for females in 2014. The country's educational system is three-tiered and heavily subsidized, with the government operating many schools at the primary, secondary and higher secondary levels and subsidizing many private schools. In the tertiary education sector, the Bangladeshi government funds over 15 state universities through the University Grants Commission. The education system is divided into five levels, primary 1st to 5th grade, junior secondary 6th to 8th grade, secondary 9th and 10th grade, higher secondary 11th and 12th grade, and tertiary. Five years of secondary education end with a secondary school certificate SSC examination. Since 2009, the primary education closing PEC examination has also been given. Students who pass the PEC examination proceed to four years of secondary or matriculation training, culminating in the SSC examination. Students who pass the PEC examination proceed to three years of junior secondary education, culminating in the Junior School Certificate JSC examination. Students who pass this examination proceed to two years of secondary education, culminating in the SSC examination. Students who pass this examination proceed to two years of higher secondary education, culminating in the Higher Secondary School Certificate HSC examination. Education is primarily in Bengali, but English is commonly taught and used. Many Muslim families send their children to part-time courses or full-time religious education in Bengali and Arabic in madrasas. Bangladesh conforms with the Education for All EFA objectives, the Millennium Development Goals (MDG), and international declarations. Article 17 of the Bangladesh Constitution provides that all children between the ages of 6 and 10 years receive a basic education free of charge. Universities in Bangladesh are of three general types, public government-owned and subsidized, private privately owned universities and international operated and funded by international organizations. Bangladesh has 34 public, 64 private and two international universities. Bangladesh National University has the largest enrollment and the University of Dhaka, established in 1921, is the oldest. University of Chittagong, established in 1966, is the largest university campus, rural, 2100 acres, 8.5 square kilometers. Islamic University of Technology, commonly known as IUT, is a subsidiary of the Organization of the Islamic Cooperation OIC, representing 57 countries in Asia, Africa, Europe and South America. Asian University for Women in Chittagong is the preeminent South Asian liberal arts university for women, representing 14 Asian countries. Its faculty hails from notable academic institutions in North America, Europe, Asia, Australia and the Middle East. BUET, CUET, KUET and RUET are Bangladesh's four public engineering universities. Butex and Duet are two specialized engineering universities, Butex specializes in textile engineering, and Duet offers higher education to diploma engineers. The NIDER is a specialized public-private partnership institute which provides higher education in textile engineering. Science and Technology Universities include SUST, PUST, JUST and NSTU. 
Bangladeshi universities are accredited by and affiliated with the University Grants Commission (UGC), created by Presidential Order 10 in 1973. Medical education is provided by 29 government and private medical colleges. All medical colleges are affiliated with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Bangladesh's 2015 literacy rate rose to 71% due to education modernization and improved funding, with 16,087 schools and 2,363 colleges receiving monthly pay order MPO facilities. According to Education Minister Nurul Islam Nahid, 27,558 madrasas and technical and vocational institutions were enlisted for the facility. 6,036 educational institutions were outside MPO coverage, and the government enlisted 1,624 private schools for MPO in 2010. Topic: <laughs> Health. Health and education levels remain relatively low, although they have improved as poverty levels have decreased. In rural areas, village doctors with little or no formal training constitute 62% of healthcare providers practicing modern medicine. Formally trained providers make up 4% of the total health workforce. A future health systems survey indicated significant deficiencies in the treatment practices of village doctors, with widespread harmful and inappropriate drug prescribing. Receiving health care from informal providers is encouraged. A 2007 study of 1,000 households in rural Bangladesh found that direct payments to formal and informal health care providers and indirect costs loss of earnings because of illness associated with illness were deterrents to accessing health care from qualified providers. A community survey of 6,183 individuals in rural Bangladesh found a gender difference in treatment seeking behavior, with women less likely to seek treatment than to men. The use of skilled birth attendant SBA services, however, rose from 2005 to 2007 among women from all socioeconomic quintiles except the highest. A Health Watch, a pilot community empowerment tool, was successfully developed and implemented in southeastern Bangladesh to improve the uptake and monitoring of public health services. Bangladesh's poor health conditions are attributed to the lack of healthcare provision by the government. According to a 2010 World Bank report, 2009 healthcare spending was 3.35% of the country's GDP. The number of hospital beds is 3 per 10,000 population. Government spending on healthcare that year was 7.9% of the total budget, out of pocket expenditures totaled 96.5%. Malnutrition has been a persistent problem in Bangladesh, with the World Bank ranking the country first in the number of malnourished children worldwide. 26% of the population two-thirds of children under the age of five are undernourished, and 46% of children are moderately or severely underweight. 43-60% to of children under five are smaller than normal, one in five preschool children are vitamin A deficient, and one in two are anemic. More than 45% of rural families and 76% of urban families were below the acceptable caloric intake level. Culture Topic. Visual arts The recorded history of art in Bangladesh can be traced to the 3rd century BCE, when terracotta sculptures were made in the region. In classical antiquity, a notable school of sculptural Hindu, Jain and Buddhist art developed in the Pala Empire and the Sena dynasty. Islamic art evolved since the 14th century. The architecture of the Bengal Sultanate saw a distinct style of domed mosques with complex niche pillars that had no minarets. Mughal Bengal's most celebrated artistic tradition was the weaving of Jamdani motifs on fine muslin, which is now classified by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage. Jamdani motifs were similar to Iranian textile art Buddha motifs and Western textile art Paisley. The Jamdani weavers in Dhaka received imperial patronage. Ivory and brass were also widely used in Mughal art. Pottery is widely used in Bengali culture. The modern art movement in Bangladesh took shape during the 1950s, particularly with the pioneering works of Zainal Abedin. East Bengal developed its own modernist painting and sculpture traditions, which were distinct from the art movements in West Bengal. The Art Institute Dhaka has been an important center for visual art in the region. Its annual Bengali New Year Parade was enlisted as an intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO in 2016. 
Modern Bangladesh has produced many of South Asia's leading painters, including S. M. Sultan, Muhammad Kabriya, Shahabuddin Ahmed, Kanak Champa Chakma, Kafil Ahmed, Saifuddin Ahmed, Qayyum Chowdhury, Rashid Chowdhury, Kwamral Hassan, Rafikun Nabi and Syed Jahangir, among others. Novira Ahmed and Naitan Kundu were the country's pioneers of modernist sculpture. The Chobi Mela is the largest photography festival in Asia. Topic. Literature The oldest evidence of writing in Bangladesh is the Mahasthan Brahmi inscription, which dates back to the 3rd century BCE. In the Gupta Empire, Sanskrit literature thrived in the region. Bengali developed from Sanskrit and Magadhi Prakrit in the 11th century. Bengali literature is a millennium old tradition. The Charyapada are the earliest examples of Bengali poetry. Sufi spiritualism inspired many Bengali Muslim writers. During the Bengal Sultanate, medieval Bengali writers were influenced by Arabic and Persian works. Syed Alaul was a noted secular poet and translator. The Chandidas are an example of the Bangladeshi folk literature that developed during the Middle Ages. The Bengal Renaissance shaped the emergence of modern Bengali literature, including novels, short stories and science fiction. Rabindranath Tagore was the first non-European laureate of the Nobel Prize in Literature and is described as the Bengali Shakespeare. Qazi Nasrul Islam was a revolutionary poet who espoused spiritual rebellion against colonialism and fascism. Begum Rokia was a pioneer of Bengali writing in English, with her early of work of feminist science fiction. Other Renaissance icons included Michael Madhusudan Dutt and Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay. The writer Syed Moitaba Ali is noted for his cosmopolitan Bengali worldview. Humayun Ahmed was a popular writer of modern Bangladeshi magical realism and science fiction. Jazamuddin was a renowned pastoral poet. Shamsur Rahman was the poet laureate of Bangladesh for many years. Al Mahmud is considered one of the greatest Bengali poets to have emerged in the 20th century. Farak Ahmed, Sufia Kamal, Kaiser Haq and Nirmalendu Goon are important figures of modern Bangladeshi poetry. Notable writers of Bangladeshi novels include Mir Musharraf Hossein, Akhtarutsaman Elias, Syed Walula, Shahidullah Kaiser, Shakat Osman, Selina Hossein, Taslima Nazreen, Haripada Datta, Razia Khan, Anasul Hoke, Bipradash Barua, Tamima Anam, Nimat Imam, Monica Ali, and Zia Haider Rahman. Many Bangladeshi writers, such as Muhammad Zafar Iqbal, K. Anis Ahmed and Farah Ghaznavi are acclaimed for their short stories. The annual Ekushi Book Fair and Dhaka Literature Festival, organized by the Bangla Academy, are among the largest literary festivals in South Asia. <laughs> <laughs> Women in Bangladesh Although, as of 2015, several women occupied major political office in Bangladesh, its women continue to live under a patriarchal social regime where violence is common. Whereas in India and Pakistan women participate less in the workforce as their education increases, the reverse is the case in Bangladesh. Bengal has a long history of feminist activism dating back to the 19th century. Begum Rokia and Faizunessa Chowdhurani played an important role in emancipating Bengali Muslim women from Purda, prior to the country's division, as well as promoting girls' education. Several women were elected to the Bengal Legislative Assembly in the British Raj. The first women's magazine, Begum, was published in 1948. In 2008, Bangladeshi female workforce participation stood at 26%. Women dominate blue-collar jobs in the Bangladeshi garment industry. Agriculture, social services, healthcare and education are also major occupations for Bangladeshi women, while their employment in white-collar positions has steadily increased. Architecture The architectural traditions of Bangladesh have a 2,500-year-old heritage. Terracotta architecture is a distinct feature of Bengal. Pre-Islamic Bengali architecture reached its pinnacle in the Pala Empire, when the Pala School of Sculptural Art established grand structures such as the Samapura Mahavihara. Islamic architecture began developing under the Bengal Sultanate, when local terracotta styles influenced medieval mosque construction. The Adina Mosque of United Bengal was the largest mosque built on the Indian subcontinent. 
The Sixty Dome Mosque was the largest medieval mosque built in Bangladesh, and is a fine example of Turkic Bengali architecture. The Mughal style replaced indigenous architecture when Bengal became a province of the Mughal Empire and influenced the development of urban housing. The Kantaju Temple and Dakeshwari Temple are excellent examples of late medieval Hindu temple architecture. Indo Saracenic revival architecture, based on Indo Islamic styles, flourished during the British period. The Zamindar gentry in Bangladesh built numerous Indo Saracenic palaces and country mansions, such as the Asan Manzil, Tajit Palace, Dayapadia Palace, Puthia Rajbari, and Natori Rajbari. Bengali vernacular architecture is noted for pioneering the bungalow. Bangladeshi villages consist of thatched roofed houses made of natural materials like mud, straw, wood, and bamboo. In modern times, village bungalows are increasingly made of tin. Muzarul Islam was the pioneer of Bangladeshi modern architecture. His varied works set the course of modern architectural practice in the country. Islam brought leading global architects, including Louis Kahn, Richard Neutra, Stanley Tigerman, Paul Rudolph, Robert Bowie, and Konstantinos Doxiadis, to work in erstwhile East Pakistan. Louis Kahn was chosen to design the National Parliament complex in Sher e Bangla Nagar. Khan's monumental designs, combining regional red brick aesthetics, his own concrete and marble brutalism and the use of lakes to represent Bengali geography, are regarded as one of the masterpieces of the 20th century. In more recent times, award-winning architects like Rafiq Azam have set the course of contemporary architecture by adopting influences from the works of Islam and Khan. Topic. Performing arts. Theatre in Bangladesh includes various forms with a history dating back to the 4th century CE. It includes narrative forms, song and dance forms, suprapersonae forms, performances with scroll paintings, puppet theatre and processional forms. The Jatra is the most popular form of Bengali folk theatre. The dance traditions of Bangladesh include indigenous tribal and Bengali dance forms, as well as classical Indian dances, including the Kathak, Odissi and Manipuri dances. The music of Bangladesh features the Baal mystical tradition, listed by UNESCO as a masterpiece of intangible cultural heritage. Numerous lyric-based musical traditions, varying from one region to the next, exist, including Gambara, Bashiali and Bawaya. Folk music is accompanied by a one-stringed instrument known as the Ektara. Other instruments include the Dotara, Dhol, flute, and Tabla. Bengali classical music includes Tagore songs and Nasrul Giti. Bangladesh has a rich tradition of Indian classical music, which uses instruments like the sitar, tabla, sarad and santor. Musician Ayub Bachu is credited with popularizing Bengali rock music in Bangladesh. Topic. Textiles The Nakshi Kantha is a centuries-old embroidery tradition for quilts, said to be indigenous to eastern Bengal i.e. Bangladesh. The sari is the national dress for Bangladeshi women. Mughal Dhaka was renowned for producing the finest muslin saris, including the famed Dhakai and Jamdani, the weaving of which is listed by UNESCO as one of the masterpieces of humanity's intangible cultural heritage. Bangladesh also produces the Rajshahi silk. The shalwar kameez is also widely worn by Bangladeshi women. In urban areas some women can be seen in western clothing. The kurta and shirwani are the national dress of Bangladeshi men, the lungi and dhoti are worn by them in informal settings. Aside from ethnic wear, domestically tailored suits and neckties are customarily worn by the country's men in offices, in schools and at social events. The handloom industry supplies 60-65% of the country's clothing demand. The Bengali ethnic fashion industry has flourished in the changing environment of the fashion world. The retailer Ering is one of the most successful ethnic wear brands in South Asia. The development of the Bangladesh textile industry, which supplies leading international brands, has promoted the production and retail of modern Western attire locally, with the country now having a number of expanding local brands like Westex and Yellow. Bangladesh is the world's second largest garments exporter. Among Bangladesh's fashion designers, Bibi Russell has received international acclaim for her. Fashion for Development shows. Topic: <inaudible> Cuisine. White rice is the staple of Bangladeshi cuisine, along with many vegetables and lentils. 
Rice preparations also include Bengali biryanis, pulaos, and kichyoris. Mustard sauce, ghee, sunflower oil and fruit chutneys are widely used in Bangladeshi cooking. Fish is the main source of protein in Bengali cuisine. The hilsa is the national fish and immensely popular across Bangladesh. Other kinds of fish eaten include rohu, butterfish, catfish, tilapia and barramundi. Fish eggs are a gourmet delicacy. Seafood holds an important place in Bengali cuisine, especially lobsters, shrimps and dried fish. Meat consumption includes chicken, beef, mutton, venison, duck and squab. In Chittagong, mezban feasts are a popular tradition featuring the serving of hot beef curry. In Silhet, the shakora lemons are used to marinate dishes. In the tribal hill tracts, bamboo shoot cooking is prevalent. Bangladesh has a vast spread of desserts, including distinctive sweets like roshagala, rashamalai, cham cham, mishti doi and kalojam. Pithas are traditional boiled desserts made with rice or fruits. Halwa is served during religious festivities. Naan, paratha, luchi and bakarkandi are the main local breads. Black tea is offered to guests as a gesture of welcome. Kebabs are widely popular across Bangladesh, particularly Sikh kebabs, chicken tikka and shashliks. Bangladesh shares its culinary heritage with the neighboring Indian state of West Bengal. The two regions have several differences, however. In Muslim-majority Bangladesh, meat consumption is greater, whereas in Hindu-majority West Bengal, vegetarianism is more prevalent. The Bangladeshi diaspora dominates the South Asian restaurant industry in many Western countries, particularly in the United Kingdom. Topic. Festivals Pahela Boishak, the Bengali New Year, is the major festival of Bengali culture and sees widespread festivities. Of the major holidays celebrated in Bangladesh, only Pahela Boishak comes without any pre-existing expectations specific religious identity, culture of gift-giving, etc. Unlike holidays like Eid al-Fitr, where dressing up in lavish clothes has become a norm, or Christmas where exchanging gifts has become an integral part of the holiday, Pahela Boishak is really about celebrating the simpler, rural roots of the Bengal. As a result, more people can participate in the festivities together without the burden of having to reveal one's class, religion, or financial capacity. Other cultural festivals include Nabono, and Paush Parban both of which are Bengali harvest festivals. The Muslim festivals of Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha, Malad un-Nabi, Muharram, Chand Riyat, Shab e Barat, the Hindu festivals of Durga Puja, Janmash Tasemi and Rath Yatra, the Buddhist festival of Buddha Purnima, which marks the birth of Gautama Buddha, and Christian festival of Christmas are national holidays in Bangladesh and see the most widespread celebrations in the country. Alongside are national days like the remembrance of the 21st of February 1952 Language Movement Day, International Mother Language Day, Independence Day and Victory Day. On Language Movement Day, people congregate at the Shaheed Minar in Dhaka to remember the national heroes of the Bengali language movement, and at the Jaishayo Smriti Sudo on Independence Day and Victory Day to remember the national heroes of the Bangladesh Liberation War. These occasions are observed with public ceremonies, parades, rallies by citizens, political speeches, fairs, concerts, and various other public and private events, celebrating the history and traditions of Bangladesh. TV and radio stations broadcast special programs and patriotic songs, and many schools and colleges organize fairs, festivals, and concerts that draw the participation of citizens from all levels of Bangladeshi society. Sports Cricket is one of the most popular sports in Bangladesh, followed by football. The national cricket team participated in their first Cricket World Cup in 1999, and the following year was granted elite test cricket status. They have however struggled, recording only 10 test match victories, one against Australia, one against England, one against Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka, five against Zimbabwe one in 2005, one in 2013 in Zimbabwe, and three in 2014, two in a 2-0 series victory over the West Indies in the West Indies in 2009. Six of Bangladesh's 10 test match victories came in between the years 2014-2017. The team has been more successful in one-day international cricket ODI. They reached the quarterfinal of the 2015 Cricket World Cup. They also reached the semi-final of the 2017 ICC Champions Trophy. 
They whitewashed Pakistan in a home ODI series in 2015 followed by home ODI series wins against India and South Africa. They also won home ODI series by 4-0 in 2010 against New Zealand and whitewashed them in the home ODI series in 2013. In July 2010, they celebrated their first ever win over England in England. In late 2012, they won a five-match home ODI series 3-2 against a full-strength West Indies national team. In 2011, Bangladesh successfully co-hosted the ICC Cricket World Cup 2011 with India and Sri Lanka. They also hosted the 2014 ICC World 2020 Championship. Bangladesh hosted the Asia Cup on four occasions in 2000, 2012, 2014, and 2016. In 2012 Asia Cup, Bangladesh beat India and Sri Lanka but lost the final game against Pakistan. However, it was the first time Bangladesh had advanced to the final of any top-class international cricket tournament. They reached the final again at the 2016 Asia Cup and 2018 Asia Cup. They participated at the 2010 Asian Games in Guangzhou, defeating Afghanistan to claim their gold medal in the first-ever cricket tournament held in the Asian Games. Bangladeshi cricketer Saqib Al Hassan is number one on the ICC's all rounder rankings in all three formats of the cricket. Women's sports saw tremendous progress in the 2010s decade in Bangladesh. In 2018, the Bangladesh women's national cricket team, the 2018 Women's 2020 Asia Cup, defeating India women's national cricket team in the final. Kabaddi, very popular in Bangladesh, is the national game. Other popular sports include field hockey, tennis, badminton, handball, football, chess, shooting, angling. The National Sports Council regulates 42 different sporting federations. On 4 November 2018, Bangladesh national under-15 football team won the 2018 SAF U15 Championship, defeating Pakistan national under-15 football team in the final. Bangladesh has five Grand Masters in chess. Among them, Niaz Mersht was the first Grand Master in South Asia. In another achievement, Margarita Mamon, a Russian rhythmic gymnast of Bangladeshi origin, won gold medal in 2016 Summer Olympics and became world champion in the years 2013 and 2014. Topic. Media and cinema The Bangladeshi press is diverse, outspoken and privately owned. Over 200 newspapers are published in the country. Bangladesh Batar is the state-run radio service. The British Broadcasting Corporation operates the popular BBC Bangla News and Current Affairs Service. Bengali broadcasts from Voice of America are also very popular. Bangladesh Television BTV is the state-owned television network. There are more than 20 privately owned television networks, including several news channels. Freedom of the media remains a major concern, due to government attempts at censorship and the harassment of journalists. The cinema of Bangladesh dates back to 1898, when films began screening at the Crown Theatre in Dhaka. The first bioscope on the subcontinent was established in Dhaka that year. The Dhaka Nawab family patronized the production of several silent films in the 1920s and 30s. In 1931, the East Bengal Cinematograph Society released the first full-length feature film in Bangladesh, titled The Last Kiss. The first feature film in East Pakistan, Muk O Mukash, was released in 1956. During the 1960s, 25 to 30 films were produced annually in Dhaka. By the 2000s, Bangladesh produced 80 to 100 films a year. While the Bangladeshi film industry has achieved limited commercial success, the country has produced notable independent filmmakers. Zahir Ryan was a prominent documentary maker who was assassinated in 1971. The late Tarek Masood is regarded as one of Bangladesh's outstanding directors due to his numerous productions on historical and social issues. Masood was honored by FIPRESCI at the 2002 Cannes Film Festival for his film The Clay Bird. Tanvir Mokamal, Mostofa Sarwar Faruqi, Humayun Ahmed, Alamgir Kabir, and Chashi Nasrul Islam are some of the prominent directors of Bangladeshi cinema. Topic. Museums and libraries The Varendra Research Museum is the oldest museum in Bangladesh. 
It houses important collections from both the pre-Islamic and Islamic periods, including the sculptures of the Pala Sena School of Art and the Indus Valley Civilization, as well as Sanskrit, Arabic and Persian manuscripts and inscriptions. The Asan Manzil, the former residence of the Nawab of Dhaka, is a national museum housing collections from the British Raj. It was the site of the founding conference of the All India Muslim League and hosted many British viceroys in Dhaka. The Tajit Palace Museum preserves artifacts of the rich cultural heritage of North Bengal, including Hindu-Buddhist sculptures and Islamic manuscripts. The Maimansingh Museum houses the personal antique collections of Bengali aristocrats in central Bengal. The Ethnological Museum of Chittagong showcases the lifestyle of various tribes in Bangladesh. The Bangladesh National Museum is located in Ramna, Dhaka and has a rich collection of antiquities. The Liberation War Museum documents the Bangladeshi struggle for independence and the 1971 genocide. In ancient times, manuscripts were written on palm leaves, tree barks, parchment vellum and terracotta plates and preserved at monasteries known as viharas. The Hussain Shahi dynasty established royal libraries during the Bengal Sultanate. Libraries were established in each district of Bengal by the Zamindar gentry during the Bengal Renaissance in the 19th century. The trend of establishing libraries continued until the beginning of World War II. In 1854, four major public libraries were opened, including the Bogra Woodburn Library, the Rangpur Public Library, the Jessore Institute Public Library and the Barisal Public Library. The Northbrook Hall Public Library was established in Dhaka in 1882 in honour of Lord Northbrook, the Governor-General. Other libraries established in the British period included the Victoria Public Library, Natori 1901, the Sirajganj Public Library 1882, the Rajshahi Public Library 1884, the Komila Burchandra Library 1885, the Shah Makdam Institute Public Library, Rajshahi 1891, the Nokali Town Hall Public Library 1896, the Prize Memorial Library, Silhet 1897, the Chittagong Municipality Public Library 1904, and the Varendra Research Library 1910. The Great Bengal Library Association was formed in 1925. The Central Public Library of Dhaka was established in 1959. The National Library of Bangladesh was established in 1972. The World Literature Centre, founded by Ramon Magsaysay Award winner Abdullah Abu Sayyid, is noted for operating numerous mobile libraries across Bangladesh and was awarded the UNESCO John Amos Comenius Medal. See also Index of Bangladesh-related articles Outline of Bangladesh List of Bangladeshi people List of Bangladeshi Americans List of Bengalis List of British Bangladeshis List of Bangladeshi actors List of Bangladeshi architects List of Bangladeshi painters List of Bangladeshi poets List of Bangladesh-related topics List of Bangladesh test cricketers List of Bangladeshi writers References Cited sources Ahmed, Salahuddin Bangladesh, Past and Present APH Publishing. ISBN 9788176484. Hussain, Abdul Rahman. 1997. Bangladesh, From a Nation to a State. Westview Press. ISBN 978-0-8133-3632-9. OCLC 47885632. Lewis, David Bangladesh, Politics, Economy and Civil Society. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-1-139-50257-3. Further reading External links Government Official website Official site of the Tourism Board of Bangladesh Official site of Bangladesh Investment Development Authority General Information
Bangladesh. The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency. Bangladesh from the BBC News. Bangladesh from UCB Libraries GovPubs. Bangladesh at Curlie. Bangladesh Encyclopedia Britannica entry. Wikimedia Atlas of Bangladesh. Geographic data related to Bangladesh at OpenStreetMap. Key development forecasts for Bangladesh from International Futures. <laughs>